Yo, what's up everyone? We're back here in Cass State. We're at Tacos Valles. Um, this 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 truck is is located in Cass State. If you're coming from uh, Bakersfield, uh, you want to hit that first off ramp. You're gonna make a left, go underneath the freeway, and then make a right on the main street. You'll find it. If you're coming to Bakersfield from LA or from down south, you're gonna hit that first exit for Cass State. Uh, you're gonna make a right and then a left main street. You're gonna come across this truck that has tortas, burritos, quesadillas. They got lingua. They got suadero. They got all kinds of stuff. And I'm joined with my co-host here on Feed Nico and Doug Tacos. What's up, Nico? What's happening, everyone? How you doing, buddy? Thanks for tuning in. Doing good. But what what shirt are you representing on this episode? Ah, storied past, bright future. Jim Kelly, Josh Allen, Buffalo Bills, Bills Mafia. You guys know it. Who dat? <laughs> Bills Mafia. We, we got the lovely Frank Fuller here. Charger Nation. Frank's in full effect. We got one. Charger. You know it. <laughs> Ole, Chargers. That's right. Yeah. We, we, we got we got from? we got beat today. We were yeah. in Charger game. <laughs> yeah. We might have got beat thirty eight to ten. That was a rough one. But we're still Charger fans forever. Charger fans for life. All right. So what do we got here? I have some Swadero, and I got some Buche. And I got some lingua. So I got the tongue, I got the pork belly, and this one right here is kind of like the rib meat. And what do you got, Nico? Chorizo? Yeah. And al pastor. Al pastor, which one are you gonna go with first? Well, we'll go with the chorizo first. Looks like it's real deal, holy filled, red. Nice. Yeah, it's all about the spice, right? That's good chorizo. Man, that thing's just pouring juice out of there. That's real deal chorizo. That's good chorizo. You got you got some head shaking right there. Yeah. Very spicy. Oh, I'm very kinda, tasty. Oh, I'm kind of burned. I didn't go with it. That's a good chorizo, right? Is there. it? Yeah. Oh, you you kind of had to catch your breath right there. Try it. All right, let me give it a shot. <laughs> That's not Caucasian yeah. chorizo. Oh my God! Come on. Wow, that'll make you rethink life's decisions. Yeah, that's, oh, that's sure. really good. What one, one you got over there? I got some cabeza got and some uh, puche. Puche. Cabeza and puche, Which but definitely gonna go we're gonna do with the cabeza right here. Uh -huh. A little bit of hot sauce. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna fold it in half. Always. And. We're gonna take a big bite out of the crime. <laughs> Man, that's a lot of meat on that thing right mm, there. Mm, mm. Is that working for you? What do you like about that one? It's nice and juicy, soft. The meat is just melting your mouth. That's right. It's awesome. melting in your mouth and up. Oh, man, it's delicious. Which one was that? Uh, cabeza. Uh, cabeza? Mm -hmm. Frank, what do you got today? Really good. I got tripa. Oh my god, look at that. That looks disgusting. What is that? That's part of the intestine? Yes, it is. Oh my god. And gosh, I'm gonna take the Frank. big old bite of it and I'm gonna tell you how good it tastes. Okay. Because I like this stuff. Alright. Don't drip, potato chip. It's very good. It's crispy like it's supposed to be. Yeah. The, tor the tortillas are good. I recommend you come here and try this. The, the, the tripa. How is it compared to last week's episode? Yeah, that tripa compared to this tripa. I like this one a little you bit like more. This one a little yeah. Bit yeah. All right. All right. It's got a little bit more flavor to it, and I love it. Awesome. All right, neat. We're going to go with this one right here. First time I've had pork belly on the show. The buche. Little buche. Come on, I'll give some insight. Uh -huh. Give us some insight. It's a look of like, I'm not yeah. sure. That's what uh -huh. I'm seeing. It's different. Uh-huh. That's got a different flavor. <laughs> um, it's, got, it's got some uh, burnt pieces. A little buoyancy here. You kind of see it? It's not bad. It's it's different. It's not bad. It's what, new. What else? Swadero? Swadero. 
That looks good. I already got the salt on there. There's a little bit of red on there. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna, you know. Little shot. Little shot Wow. Is that more up your alley right there? Dang. It's hard to find Swadero. That's excellent. Wow, look at that. Looks like legit. Last one. My favorite, Lingua. Dude. You don't like Lingua? Yeah, I like Lingua. Mm -hmm. Huh? Was that a 10? A 9? It's really good. That's a good Lingua taco. If I'm comparing the two, I'm going the other truck, by Carol, but that is good lingua. That lingua is an 8.7 all day long. They, uh, the Mute is a little different. <laughs> about a, about 7.5, I'll probably need a couple more bites. It, it might be an acquired taste. And this one here, with the, uh, uh, it's Wadero. It's decent. Eh. It's a 7.9. Not the best Swadero I've had, but it's Swadero nonetheless. And Swadero's hard to get. I only know one place in Bakersfield that has it. Both these trucks have it here at Valley's and also at Vaquero. All right, Nico. All right. The Al Pastor. And you're an Al Pastor snob. And the grease is flowing out of it already. It's under the <coughs> there is no pineapple. That's a deduction. And I would like a little bit more cilantro than onion. Yeah, that's a deduction. So judgmental right off the bat. Boy, you're really thinking about it. Well, I've had better. Yeah? Last week's episode, the other place was way better. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they do this on the thing. If they do, they do it at home and then bring it here. Right. So without that, without being on a speaker with no pineapple. No pineapple. Cilantro onion ratio is kind of chintzy, and the tortillas look like they're sore bought. Yeah, so you're looking at maybe about a 7.75. Wow. Now then, the uh, chorizo? Yeah. About a nine taco right there. Wow, a nine taco rating. That's with your half taco deduction for the tortilla. Wow, so it could have been a 9.5. Yeah. Wow. That's excellent. That's excellent. All right, gentlemen, we're about to wrap up the show, Frank. Let me get your thoughts here. I'm about to have the chorizo right now? The chorizo, yeah. That's super excellent. Chorizo too? Huh? Chorizo is very good. Got a good taste to it. Good flavor. I like it. All right. My last cabeza, this is a um, buche. Buche. Yeah? Buche. <laughs> okay, and now I know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. A little too gamey. <laughs> it's got a little game to it. <laughs> yeah, a little kind of chewy. It's just to your teeth. I don't want to let go. <laughs> so listen, on last week's episode, we reviewed this place right here. With the... Uh... With the Alpastor spigot with the pineapple. Real deal Holyfield. This one, not so much. Still good. You will not be disappointed. But not as good as the other one. So on this truck, I would give an overall rating of an 8.1. Hey, I think that's still higher than uh, Tacos de Huicho for all you Tacos de Huicho snobs in Vegasville. You guys need to slow down, get out, and have some other tacos other than Tacos de Huicho. Overall rating on this place, Nico? 
Well, I had a seven, seven, five, and then I had a nine, so mine would be somewhere around eight and a half. But if I was to come to this location again, I would have, I would come here for a tree so, and I'd walk right down there for an Alpestor, and go. my day would be complete. There so there, go. there's your tip. There's your tip. Two trucks, yeah. one stop. Nobody said you can't try two trucks. You can't try, but why can't come you try on. two trucks? They're only about 300 feet away from each other. Oh my gosh, I see another truck on the other side of the street. Looks like we might be going over there. You guys save room? No <laughs> rain candy. I'm trying my best. <laughs> All right, hey, so thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Feed and Nico and Doug Tacos. Remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell. Let's end with a little bite of that uh, jalapeno. Did you oh, have yeah. one yet? Shot. A little shot, jalapeno. Another shot. Huh? Come on. There you go. What an animal. Dip your jalapeno in the hot sauce. We we'll take a shot, shot afterwards. Throw a little swadero in there. Come on. Huh? No better way to climax the ending of the show. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. Hit like, subscribe. See you later.